Hello and welcome back to Science Class. The warm-up activity is we're going to breathe in gently and breathe out gently. We're going to do this three times. Breathe in and out. In and out. The last round. Let's breathe in and out. Without further ado, let's go on to the lesson. Hello and welcome back to science class. Today we're going to look at the life circle of animals. And we're going to take a look at three aspects. Number one, the life circle of animals that lay eggs. Number two, life circle of animals that give life birth. Number three, guidelines to protect the life circle of animals. Now let's take a look at life circle of animals. Animals are living things. They grow and make their young to continue their species. How animals change as they grow. Some change by a lot and some change by only a little. These changes are called a life circle and they continue until death. How do animals change as they grow into adults? A life circle are the stages a living thing goes through during its life. Animals change in shape, size and grow all through their life. The life circle of animals is grouped into two types. Animals that give birth to their young and animals that lay eggs. Do different animals have different life circles? Well, let's take a look in this next segment. Number one, the life circle of animals that lay eggs. When these animals lay eggs, their young hatch out from them and then grow into adults. There are two types of life circles for these kinds of animals as follows. One, three-stage life circle of animals that lay eggs. Group one, after hatching from their eggs, the young look the same as their parents. Examples, chickens, geckos, snakes, fish, grasshoppers, and cockroaches. Group two, after hatching from their eggs, the young go through changes as they grow. They will look like their parents when they fully grow. Examples, frogs. Next one, first stage life circle of animals that lay eggs. After hatching from their eggs, the young will go through changes in their look. They will look like their parents when they are fully grown. Examples, butterflies, flies, ladybugs, mosquitoes, rhinoceros, beetles, and fireflies. Number two, life cycle of animals that give life birth. The male sperm cell fertilizes the egg cell in a female. The female becomes pregnant, then she gives birth to a young after some time. The young looks the same like its parents, but much smaller. They will go through many changes before they are fully grown. These animals are split into two groups, mammals. Examples of mammals include dogs, cats, elephants, horses, cows, buffaloes, 
rats, whales, dolphins, seals, and we humans. Number two, some fish. Example, wrestling up bigs, guppies, and moles. Now let's take a look at the guidelines to protect the life cycle of animals. Animals are important to earth and they help to keep the balance of nature. We should protect animals so that they will not disappear from earth. One way to protect animals is to care for their life circles as follows. One, do not hurt or catch animals during their breeding season or when they are laying eggs. Two, do not cut down trees because forests are home for animals. Three, do not throw dangerous waste on the ground. Do not burn grass and do not use insecticides on plants. All these destroy the soil. Four, protect natural resources like water because it is good for the living of animals. Five, do not do activities that pollute the air. Examples, factory works, burning garbage. These activities bring many changes to the weather. And that's how we take care of animals from extinction. In this lesson, we've talked about the life cycle of animals that lay eggs, which has three stage life cycle and four stage life circles. We've talked about life cycle of animals that give life birds, which are mammals and some fish. And then we talked about five guidelines to protect the life cycle of animals. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. See you next time.